What's going on, y'all? It's Tracy Mitchell, VA. Today I'm representing ThisIs50.com, and I got a very special guest. He's going viral on the internet every single day. His music is hot. His name is Hood Tali. How you doing? It's Hood Tali. I said it right? Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling today? I'm good. Good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you for having me on the show. No problem. Like, so where are you at in life right now? Like, you're the talk of the town, <laughs> you know, Philly's next hottest upcoming artist. Like, how you feeling? I feel good. I'm chilling. I've been chilling lately, you feel me? Just chilling. I really ain't been doing too much. Chilling, working, making sure my family cool. Other than that, I'm chilling. When did you move over here? I probably moved to Atlanta, like, um, when was that, like, October, November 2020. And how have you been liking the transition so far? Uh, I don't really like Atlanta, like living out of Atlanta. I ain't gonna say I don't like Atlanta, but I ain't, I didn't really like living out of Atlanta because it was like it's it's slow, it's slower, it's slower. Really? It's like I, the stuff that the stuff that it is to do in Atlanta. I'm not that type of person. Like, I don't okay, like. Yeah. All we got is like Buka Bar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're like, so it's like it kind of is. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm more so in the house and stuff when I'm over there. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean by like slow, but like. It, 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 it was, it's, it's good for the peace of mind and the thinking and stuff like that, so. Yeah, I heard yeah. you be, like, enjoying the studio life, though. Mm -hmm. Like, it's definitely a big difference. Yeah, yeah, the difference is a, it's a real big difference between the studio mm -hmm. and Philly. I mean, like, it's like, uh, I'm trying to word it the best way. They like more like on it out here. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like they take, a, take it more seriously. You feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah. They, everybody wants to be the best out here. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a rapper, for sure. What do you miss about Philly right now? But no, I miss the food. Uh, I miss my friends. That's it, really. Just the food and my friends and my and my family and stuff. Would you say you go back a lot? Uh, yeah. I I, I go back. I go back every couple months. Okay, dope. Well, right now your latest drop is two forties and a nine. Yeah. Music is going high on YouTube, viral everything. I saw you shot it in Chicago. Why was that? You said you said why did I shoot it in Chicago? Yeah. Cause I just wanted to show them that I'm moving around. You get what I'm saying? And just show like the lifestyle aspect of it too. Like we in Chicago, black truck, just riding around, track home. I would say that you're like the biggest, newest act coming out of Philly. How does that feel? To know that you, you know, you got such a bright future ahead of you. Uh, it feel good. It feel good. It feel real good. Cause that's not something that I was like. I heard. I heard you, you were bored one day. You just woke up. Was like, I'm gonna be a rapper. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> really how I went. I just was like, it was like, it was a lot of people rapping in Philly at the time, and they was like, you feel me? Really, really getting attention. So I was just like, all right, I'm gonna just see if you get what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and then. It really kind of chose me. Why do you think they chose you? <laughs> if you gotta talk your shit for a second. <laughs> I don't wanna talk no shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, look, like, everybody already knew who I was in Philly, like, for a long time. You get what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't just like, I just came out of nowhere and, and, and then and he rapped and all that, and then a bunch of stuff. Like, everybody already knew who I was. It's just I wasn't like a real Instagram type person. I wasn't. You were never to the social media. Yeah, shit. yeah, I just was getting dressed and stuff like that, but I never really used to be on Instagram. Okay, you were known as the dresser. Okay, but before the music, like, what would you say your family life was like? Like, what kind of kid were you growing up in Philly? <laughs> I was bad. I was bad. It was like. Typical kid though, when it was like going with whatever wave it was, when it was the dancing wave, I was dancing. You were dancing at one point? Yeah. But I wasn't like. That's a Chris Brown type shit? No, no, like, I wasn't <laughs> dancing like, like, I wasn't dancing like, like, oh, I'm in the Dollar Boy videos and all that <laughs> dancing, but like, we used to be in the crib practicing and all that, but yeah, like, whatever, it was just like, you feel me? Saying this little kid doing bad shit, trying to, you feel me? Why you think you were so damn bad? Uh, I don't know. I ain't been Cause I really don't, I don't know. I just was always had it in my mind. All right, I think I know why I was so bad. Cause like, all right, I grew up with all females. So I just used to do whatever I want. And I just, just used to do whatever I want. That's really what it was. So you just always a rebel? Yeah, I just always used to do what I want. For sure. Do you feel like you're a rebel in the music industry now that you a rapper? Um, 
I don't feel I wouldn't say I'm a rebel in the music industry because it's not like I don't fuck with the people and people gonna fuck with me. Everybody I come across, they we like you get what I'm saying. But it just it might be a certain it might be a certain crowd of people that are gonna like me and all that. But I don't feel like I'm a rebel because I'm not I'm not hard to get along with none of that. So since you started coming up in the industry, like has people changed around you? You say you lost friends or anything like that. Uh, I want to say, I want to say, uh, I want to say I lost no friends or nothing like that. Or maybe it's just a lot to adjust to all the attention you're getting. It's, yeah, the attention, it's like, I got more attention, but like, I ain't really like, shit, I really got, I really got put in a position where like, it's, it's on me, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's on my back for real, for real, so. It's more so like that, like I just see like the rule I gotta play with it. That's what it really did for me. I ain't really like lose no friends. That just made them mm -hmm. be like, all right, this what we gotta do as you feel me? Yeah. Like, being his friend, what to do, what not to do. A little bit smarter. Mm -hmm. What role they supposed to play. What was one thing that you really learned when it comes to moving smarter that you wanna give, you know, just an upcoming artist out there, a tip? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh Man, stay off Instagram. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that, yeah. Stay off Instagram. And stay off your phone. phone if you're going to be doing that, then just keep it as low as you can. But if you really want to do what you got to do, leave all the bullshit alone. So what can you tell us about this upcoming project, Top Off, that's dropping in the fall? What can you give us? Uh, It's going to be it's gonna be different from the music that everybody used to be putting out. Ow. That's the main thing. Because it's not going to be just... Uh, bang bang shoot em up kill kill music you get what I'm saying we like bang bang shoot em kill kill I know I know it's gonna be in there but it's gonna have like the song's gonna have real meanings to them you get what I'm saying instead of me just talking shit and talking crazy and doing all that what is one topic in life that you feel like you pulled from in that project um really everything about money wanting to make money what you supposed to do, how to make money, uh, how to maneuver outside in the streets if you is in that lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot, it's a lot of them, man, I'm talking about. Right, I feel like everybody has their own opinion about you. Some of it can be a little negative, but most of it be positive, though, <laughs> because you have great music to back it up. But what are some common misconceptions, you know, that people say about you that you want to clear the air? Uh... People might, all right, if you might, if you go, if you search me up or whatever and you see me snapping or whatever, that's not how I act. Like, I don't act like that, like, on a regular. I'm more so like this. Like, I be chilling. I just, you feel me? I just don't like, I I don't, I, don't, I just not somebody that, like, if I see some some flawed, I'm going to speak on it. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to, I'm going to just speak on it. Like, I really speak my mind. That's really about it. Uh, what are some things you're looking forward to achieve within the next five years? <laughs> Everything, man. I'm really Maybe trying. awards? Like, are you trying to be the biggest rapper out? I mean, I really don't care for that. I just I just want to be able to... Provide. Yeah, for real, for real. And change everything. Like, change, change the way of living for everybody around me. That's all I really care about. I don't really care about no spotlight or no awards or nothing like that. If it comes, then... That's, you get what I'm saying? That's fine, but that's not like what my goal is. Is there maybe like a collaboration? Or is there an artist out there you would love to work with? Um, yeah, I said this on the last interview. I said like, like Kodak Black, uh, Kodak Black, like Dirk, and who else? Uh, Kodak Black, Dirk, Baby. Artists like that. <laughs> it's Tracy Mitchell VA with This Is 50.com. Make sure y'all be on the lookout for Top Op Project. Go check out that latest music video, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, thank you.